typical Monday the reason it's always on Monday all that stuff is because I typically travel on the weekends so coming back home you know obviously on Sunday night typically I'm flying Friday you know flying back Sunday and then you know just flying at my size and then obviously flying in general uh, being on the road you know just get your hips and like back all stiff and out of line so before I come back home and get back to like training heavy it's always best for me to like get everything back in line, get everything stretched and moving right, and then proceed with my week. So even though I didn't travel this weekend, I still just stick to the routine because it's you know it's part of the plan. So that's what we're doing today, and uh, it's gonna be a long morning because I'm already hungry as hell. Go on your stomach first. You did my workout at 3 o'clock in the morning. Huh? Oh. Again, let all the way out. Again, let all the way out. Good. Just drop your shoulder. Good. Drop your shoulder here. That one's going to be fit. Which one? This one here. This one right here? Yeah. Good. Good try. Just let it go. Drop your shoulder back. There it is. Oh, good. Other side. I never saw the picture of Paul there. Paul Duet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Paul has been taken care of for years. Yeah. He did good. from the old school, not many people know. <laughs> this guy used to train with all the grades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until my joints fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man, when I first started going to Dr. Nick, I was having some really bad shoulder issues, uh, specifically in my left shoulder. And then it got so bad, like my right shoulder was hurting too. And uh, he would come in and do the ART, and then he'd, uh, you know, put them back in place. And like, we do the thing where it pops them. And like, man, when I'd first do it, like it was so loud 
and it would scare me. Like it, it would be like a relief when it would slide back in, but it was so loud it would scare me. And uh, got to where now I go in there and like he's got them so back in place and they've actually secured up from like constantly keeping everything in line. That's, that's what I was trying to say. It's like when you keep it in line and you don't let shit get out of line and get messed up, you know, it doesn't, uh, it, it, it stays and it, it learns to hold itself in place. And now like when he tries to do my shoulders, like, I mean, we do it just to make sure, but they won't even budge because I mean, he's got them realigned and everything's like snug back up around them and you know everything's holding back in place. And and then of course when training and stuff I mean they don't even bother me anymore so it's uh you know people ask you know about all the treatment they're like is it all really necessary I mean I don't know maybe I could get away with less but at the end of the day like I said this is my job it's my livelihood so there's nothing more important than this really to me um so and the, the proof's in the pudding so to speak you know uh they don't hurt and uh you know I can train better so Southern boy, gotta have his grits. So, so far we've uh, hit up the stretch zone, the chiropractor, killed mill one, and uh, just mixed up all my pre-workout and post-workout shakes, and we are headed to uh, train some chest at Busy Body. So, uh, yeah, let's go time. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, catch you later.